Hey guys, Ben here. Um, previously we did this roof. Um, today I'm going to show you how to model this wall. Okay, so this will be the final product. Um, well, actually, I'm going to sh um, finish this. Uh, we're going to finish this in two uh, episodes because um, today I'm going to show you another approach, which is not successful. I so when I first trying to model this. So um, let's start. Okay. So first, create a, a mass. So because when you first look at this shape, uh, the easiest way will be um, create a a spline. So something like this, and then just create a form. And oh, interesting to go the other way, but yeah, that's fine. I'll just. Uh, top zero. Okay, so it goes up. Maybe I'll just change it to 220. And then the easiest way. So because look at this pattern here. So it's so you can, you will be able to find it. Uh, actually, select this face, divide surface, and then so if you look here. So this is a pattern. So triangle step. It's very similar to this. Okay, so when I first look at uh, this image, I yeah, so I know. Okay, I'll try this. Uh, um, change this now. It's very similar, right? But um, I'm going to show you this. This will not work. I'm going to show you why. So okay, so now we have this face. So we just need to create a um, family curtain panel pattern base and change this. Select this uh, tile pattern grid. Yeah, so, and change this to triangle step. So now, if you look at this, it's it's not exactly the same. At the top, we need to have a, a flat edge. So, so what I'm going to do is place one point, draw a uh, draw on face, set work vertical work plan, and place it here. So you 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 don't need to follow me here because I'm going I'm I'm um I'm going to show you this method which is not. Uh, it, which won't, it won't work. It will not work. Okay, I'm just going to show you why. Okay, so so place one point here and another point here. So and then also on these two. So we need to place on this. Place on the reference line. So now we, if we connect these lines, and then we can have this. Uh, I'm going to create this face. Okay. So now, if I load this into this mess and then try and select this. So this is what we have used this method. So see, half of the panels are good. See this one, which is good. But this one, if you look at this one, so when 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 the panel rotate um 180 degree and the rivet can't work it out. So ro rotate this, uh, sw swap these two points and then create this front face. And then the result of this is uh, if I if I if I just create a solid and then lo load it back here, so you can see this won't work. So okay, so this is why. Uh, okay, uh, it's. Why, why this method won't work. So uh, 
So what we need to do is we just need to change this change back. Uh, I'll just change it back to no pattern. And we need to use a different approach, which is adaptive family. Okay, so first let me I'll just ch ch check these nodes first. Okay, so now we have these nodes, then we're going to manually place place the uh, family. Okay, so let's go back, create a adaptive family, generic model adaptive and uh, go to front view place three points pick a plan or pick from back and uh, so one two three okay make adaptive roughly just a point and uh, now i'll select these two spline within slot okay let me just go to 3d view and <coughs> So one, two, three. So same to the previous approach. I'll place point, draw our work plan, set work plan, pick this vertical work plan and place it on point one and then drag this here. So here we have an off offset. So we can create a offset parameter. So now this another point. Here, so this one will be negative. So I'll call it offset negative instance. Okay, okay. Family type offset negative equals negative offset. Okay, so now we need another two point. Mm. Uh, point this time draw on face and pick here, pick here. So click, play, uh, uh, select this point change this to segment segment length so this looks like a three meter four meter change this to end now this close to the offset so so now offset equals this okay so another one point join face oh sorry now we have this one select this point segment length yep close to that offset just associate to Offset. So now if I if I ch move drag this point, you will see all the points will move with it. Okay, so good. So now let me just select uh, these two points. So one two, one two, and one two, and select them with a sign. Create form. I'll create a. F oh, sorry, wrong one. <laughs> I'll create a form and pick a face first. Okay. So now, if I load this into family, hang on, what's the family name? Family eight. Load this to family eight, and place it. Um, oh, let me let me have a look. So, one, two, three. Okay, I'll place it here. So one, two, and three. And select this and then repeat. Good. I'll place another one. Uh, I'll temp temporarily hide, hide this. Create another one. So this one will be one, two, three. This one will be one, two, and three. And select, select it, repeat. And HR. So Oh, good. Um, yeah. Let okay. So now, if let's go back, not this one. I'll delete this. I'll close this one. So not this one. So that's the pattern panel pattern base, which is not successful. So this is the adaptive family. So we are, we um, if I if I create form solid. So actually, I'm going to um, let me try one, two hundred each side. So this, so this will create a center, okay, with the solid center to all the points. So what we can do is we can create a, a thickness, thickness, uh, thickness. So maybe 400 and 
tab select this mass and I'll create create this half thickness and also this one half thickness and then go to family types half thickness a equals thickness divided by two apply okay so now we can control the thickness okay oops sorry now let me load this into the here so now we have this thickness so um let me select you can tap you can tap select one and select all as a so here you can adjust the okay so um and also so if you look at this it's all um today today i'm not going to show you how uh, to model all these details uh, so i will stop here and yeah you i think uh if 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 i'm going to do it in a real project i probably just model it like this i want more more detail i will probably um so hang on so go back to this solid this this mass and uh, create a material so you can you can just give create a material here or you can just create a material parameter so and then adjust in the in this family but uh, it will be the same here i'm going to create a material here okay so so <coughs> so create a material um, i'll just use this one and then probably just use a uh, a, a pattern like this oh hell this is drafting pattern maybe uh click on that this one i'll change it to model so maybe i need to create a new one so uh, maybe two maybe 150 mil horizontal h parallel 9.45 0 degree so one or oh, sorry 150 okay and okay and okay and load this back in here so yeah if yeah oh yeah it's not quite <laughs> interesting it's not quite right hmm. why look see this shape it's not flat let me try actually edit family probably because this in this maybe i'm if i move this to center let me see uh let's try yep it's better so looks like um when you more when you create this when you create create this adaptive family so all the location of these three points will affect will affect the the model okay so just 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 make sure so i'll hang on, i'll just uh, how can i get the center line so maybe i'll draw a line okay so i'll draw center go up and then move this to here okay and then delete this and low back into here so now now it's good yeah so yeah and uh, if this is a real project this probably uh, i'll stop here but uh, and also um, that's a gap maybe we can do a gap so it looks like that's a gap there so we can create this gap quite easily just edit this family so so because we have this offset of so this is offset 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 we just need to have make this a little 
bit less than offset and uh, make this a little bit more than offset Hang on. yep so uh, let's just create a so this is offset so this will be offset top I'll just create a new one so new parameter so uh, first one will be a gap a gap Okay, so maybe a gap, um, 15 mil gap. So 15 mil gap, and then I'll create another. So off offset uh, plus gap. Okay, so it will be offset plus gap, which means. So O F plus gap and another one will be offset uh, minus gap offset minus gap and OK and then this point so we need them to be Oh, hang on one is negative. So this one will be offset um, minus gap. Yeah, and this will be negative offset uh, minus gap. So I'll just create another one. So offset uh, offset minus gap negative. Okay, and then go back to family types offset minus gap negative equals negative offset minus gap. Okay, so this point will be offset plus gap, same as this one okay so now if I load this back into here so now we have this gap between these okay so you can still so if you tab select one and then select all SA you can adjust this gap as well well okay so yeah so I think I will stop here. This is, um, uh, I think this, uh, if if it's a real project, I'm going to work on, I will stop here for modeling. <laughs> but tomorrow, um, I'm going to show you how to model to this detail. Okay, so I'm going to show you another, so where the other one? So this one. How to do this? Okay, so that's for tomorrow. So okay, uh, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.